I'm looking too cute to let this little grease ruin my shop. Oh, I'm all crooked. I didn't even realize. Is it crooked? Girl, I don't know. This is not better. <laughs> no. Okay. I'm going to have to keep it together. I can partially see myself. That's what the confusion is coming from. Hey, girl. Welcome back to the vlog. Yes, I am bringing the vlog back. It's been a while since I vlogged specifically like what six almost six months huh. It's crazy how time flies girl. Can you believe it's already almost June of 2021? I just feel like life is flying. Is it just me? Is it just me? Anyways, welcome back to the vlog. I'm very happy to bring it back I feel like I've been in my head a lot about vlogging <laughs> Oh, hey girl, I didn't see you here. <laughs> What's up? Okay, first of all, I'm super greasy. I'm so sorry, I have to apologize because Bae's playing Xbox downstairs and he's, he's gonna be loud. They're always so loud. He's probably playing Call of Duty or something. Anyway, hey girl, hey. I don't, oh, it's been a while since I've done this. I haven't vlogged in a really, really long time and I don't know why. I don't know why, but today I felt really cute. Listen, let me show you this outfit. I was just filming a video, which is why this is there. Yes, right? I'm giving you total just like laid back energy right now. Both top and bottom is from Dynamite. And it's funny, I'll put the links down below. The shorts that they sent me is like a mistake. So I reached out to them, I slid in their DMs and then <laughs> sent them an email. I love dynamite. I have I always have, I love their vibes. My entire closet is half dynamite. Anyways, so I slid in their emails and then I'm super shy though with stuff like that. <laughs> I know I'm an influencer, but I'm so shy when it comes to like reaching out to brands. All the business side is, is <laughs> has not been my forte, although I've been learning. Anyways, slid in their DMs or in their email and I asked for a few items, they sent them to me. And these shorts is not something that I picked. So I had picked a bodysuit and I guess she sent the shorts by accident or something. At least I like to believe. I don't know, I'm not gonna ask them about it. But yeah, she's actually given though, she's super cute. I didn't even think I was gonna like it as much because when I took it out of the package, I was like, oh, you know, does it really look like it's the style that I would have gone for, but very comfy. So today, like I said, I was filming a reel for Dynamite. Girl, it took so long. It took all afternoon, and I actually had other things that I wanted to do today. I feel like I'm so behind. I'm creating a lot of content, and I just really need to get it out. I'm in my head a lot about it too, because I took such a long break on Instagram. I feel like I don't know how to come back. It's so weird. like. I'm overthinking it clearly. I wanna come back with something special, but then the more I keep waiting for something special, the more it's like, I don't know, what is something special? I should just show up and be myself. So how you doing, girl? What else can we talk about? Okay, so what I think I'm gonna do when it comes to vlogging though, I will vlog like snippet of my days and then put them together. So kind of like a weekly vlog, Depending on how long it is, it could be weekly or it could just be whenever I get like 10 to 15 minutes worth of footage, <laughs> then we will do that. Well, maybe vlogs should be longer. Like, yeah, 15 minutes I think is a sweet spot. Once we get enough footage, we'll just upload it. That's what we're gonna do. Stop overthinking this whole content creation thing. It's just, it's too much. And you guys can pick and choose what you wanna see anyway. If you wanna watch the vlog, you can watch the vlog. If you wanna watch a hair video, you can watch a hair video. If you want to, watch my self-development videos. You can do that too. Oh, MG, thank you so much for the support on that video too. It didn't take me as long as I thought it was gonna take me to put it all together. Like filming wasn't long and editing wouldn't have been too long except for the fact that my mic died on me so I had to refilm the second part, like the part of me sitting on the couch. I had to redo that which kind of sucks. Otherwise, it wouldn't have taken that long. And that's because I planned the video. Like I sat down, I wrote a script, I thought about how it was gonna all come together, I thought about editing it. Like it was all created, in a sense, in my mind before I pressed record. And that in itself really helped the whole recording slash editing process go a lot smoother. And 
to be honest it's part of the and one of the reasons i think us content creators get overwhelmed when it comes to like filming and editing we can film the same thing over and over or spend so much time editing it if you don't go in with a plan that's what i'm realizing at least because i used to be the person that would just hit record and figure it out and it's cool to have these type of videos too like right now that's what i did i just kind of like i thought about vlogging and i just started it's cool to just do that once in a while but a lot of the time it's good to go in with a plan is what i'm saying it's sunday i should probably should I, did i say that i don't think i said that i should probably say that it is sunday seven o'clock and it's still nice and bright out this is why i love spring and summer if it was winter it would have been pitch black Ugh. it's sunday seven o'clock and i need to make dinner i still need to finish cleaning up you know what when i was looking at the little clothes rack so i have it right here so this is the rack and i picked eight items i don't think all of them are is on here but these pants they fit me like a dream you know what i think i should just do like a dynamite haul section for this video kind of show you the clothes because they're so nice this hug the booty girl like a dream i didn't use this one in my video but this is super cute too it's the top that i wore in my last video if you're watching this i'm sure it would have already been posted my natural hair guide basically i think i don't know what i'm gonna call it yet but i'll put a link girl um this was super cute too i already had this one and it's still from dynamite this is super cute you saw this one in my self-development video if you watched that if you follow me on instagram then you've seen this this is from boho though it's not from it's not from dynamite boohoo i think that's how you say it from boohoo there we go here with this this is also very nice from dynamite it's super soft the quality of the material is really nice and you know what i kind of stopped going from dynamite for a little while because i feel like their quality had gone down but they really picked things back up because these these is really nice so is this like the quality is really good like this feels like aritia quality this is also dynamite and this is from zara yeah and then i i went nuts like i don't even know why i pull out so many clothes but i did i really wanted the reel to turn out really nice so hopefully it worked out i spent a long time trying to get it together i'm a little nervous about it too so anyways i don't know <sighs> so i hope you're doing well this is sunday's vlog okay so i just remembered why i originally turned on the camera <laughs> so i talked for like 10 minutes and completely did not talk about what what i wanted to talk about so weird anyways so you saw the clothes rack and the reason why i wanted to talk to you guys because i have an idea okay and i want you to tell me if it's a good idea or a bad idea i realize when i put when i buy clothes and i put them in my closet i just don't really see the clothes so i don't wear them does that make sense like it's just there with a bunch of other clothes and nothing excites me whatever so last december i did a huge closet clear out and got rid of a ton of clothes i'll link the video in the cards down below it was one of those um vlogmas vlogs clean a bunch of clothes i was gonna get rid of them between you and i it's still sitting in my basement because i wanted to make an instagram video around it and i just haven't gotten around to doing it basically procrastination okay that's what i'm trying to say anyways so my point was if i don't see the clothes then i don't wear it is it a bad idea to completely just get rid of a like a closet traditional closet idea and just have like an open wardrobe like this like a clothes rack so every season i'll just put what i want to wear on there like my spring clothes my summer clothes my fall clothes <laughs> winter we don't even care about winter whatever fast forward to spring again because then if i see it then i feel like i'll wear the clothes versus in my closet i i just always feel like i have nothing to wear and that's like a part of it is because i got rid of all my clothes but the other part is because i don't really see what i have in the closet i don't check for it like that i just wear like sweats and pajamas all day so that's my idea let me know if it's a good idea or if it's a bad idea by the way this is actual water oh my god you guys probably think i'm drinking apple juice i should clarify it's not apple juice it's water because your girl is thirsty but yes i look super cute makeup i would say the makeup tutorial is coming but it's not at least not on youtube it's going to be on instagram because i filmed it vertically and i actually filmed it specifically for instagram <laughs> follow me on instagram by the way okay bye all right well let's make dinner apparently he also wants to eat 
So for dinner, we have pizza, like I told you guys. This is a thin crust one as well, which makes me feel like it's not gonna be enough. I could eat this by myself if I'm honest. I'm starving. Roasted mushroom and garlic. So I'm also going to add some fries just because I don't feel like this is enough. So I'm done making dinner. <laughs> My mom would be so disappointed right now. You know, Sunday dinner has to be Sunday dinner, which means not pizza and fries. It's actually going to hit the spot. I feel it. So I'm just gonna end the vlog here. Just about to watch some Netflix. I actually asked on Instagram what you guys are watching and a lot of you guys recommended who killed Sarah. So I'm, I'm about to find out who killed Sarah. Cause I don't know, but I wanna know. <laughs> Anyways, have a good night. See you tomorrow. Hey girl, hey. Good morning or afternoon or whenever you're watching this. It is Monday, May 24th, I think, 25th. Anyways girl, we're chilling. Today is a day off, so happy. I think it's Victoria Day or something. I don't even know why we're off. I'm just happy we're off. <laughs> so yeah, I'm actually about to get ready, get my day started. It's like one o'clock. But I'm about to shower, do my skincare. We do have some people coming over because, you know, it's a holiday. And I guess that's what people do. We're trying to feel normal in this pandemic. So I'm going to get myself all cute because any occasion that I get to get cute, I'm going to take advantage. Yeah, so let me do that. Let me shower. And I'll show you what I've been using for my skin because, girl, my skin... Again, has been doing it for me. Look at this. She's giving me glow without even me trying and I'm, I'm here for it. I love it. I definitely want to do a skincare update for you guys because I feel like I'm overdue and I really have been finding some good things that has been working on these hyperpigmentation marks. So I want to share because I want all of us to look cute this summer, okay? Anyways, let me shower and I'll be right back. All right, time for skincare. Actually, I wanna share with you guys my body wash, which I recently started using and I really like it. I'm sure you've seen it all over the interwebs. It's the Olay line. It's exfoliating and moisturizing is what it says. This one is sugar and cocoa butter, the scent. And I really like it. I don't care so much for the little exfoliating beads in it, but I really like the smell. It makes me feel like I'm getting a nice little spa experience. Skincare. Paula's Choice is one of the staples in my skincare routine, I feel like, and that's the cleanser that I use. It's very like, it's not your typical cleanser, it doesn't lather, it's very nourishing and moisturizing on your skin, which is why I use it. It's kind of like what I use as a first cleansing agent, I guess you could say, like, well, you know when you're double cleansing? That's what I use to remove all of my makeup, and on days like today, where it's morning time, I haven't really, I mean, is it morning? It's like one o'clock, it's one o'clock. <laughs> but I haven't really done much. So I use this just to like really cleanse my skin. It keeps it nice and refreshed, but it doesn't really like strip it or anything like that. It doesn't even lather by the way. Typically I would go with this as a second cleanse. This is by Belief. It's a moisturizing cleanser. Yeah, I would do that, but today I'm not gonna do that. And then we are big on toners slash essences. I find them to be very gentle on your skin. And I know some estheticians say that they're not needed, but I don't use any toners that are harsh or exfoliating. I mean, unless I want to exfoliate, then I will do that. But typically I would just use like moisturizing toners, the toners that are supposed to just give you a nice drink of water, give your skin a nice drink of water. I'm finishing up this one by Fenty. I just wanna finish it because I don't mind it, but I'm, it's also not needed considering the other essences and toners that I use so I just want to finish it up and then I like this one by Kors RX it's their snail mucin this is really really good it's just so slippery and moisturizing at the same time so I'm very big on moisture by the way I should probably say that so my skin is oily combination very oily in the t-zone if you haven't noticed dry or normal depending on the season for the bottom half of my 
face for the longest time. I used to use a lot of like stripping ingredients or stripping products because I thought I had to strip the oils away from my skin. Turns out that's a recipe for disaster. Anyways, after I use my two toners, I go with vitamin C during the day. I'm almost done with this little bottle, but this vitamin C is by Sweet Chef. I'm just trying to get my money's worth, you hear me? We're getting every single drop out of this, although it's not coming out. We're getting every drop out. And vitamin C is actually really good to use before your sunscreen, which you're gonna get into. Vitamin C is very good. It protects your skin from free radicals and combined with your sunscreen, it really provides the best protection. Sunscreen is so important, something that we don't use enough or we were thought not to use, but sunscreen is important. My moisturizing cream, the one that I've been loving is this one by Super, uh, Youth to the People. It's called Superfood Air Whipped Moisture Cream. I like it. It's very nourishing. It's very expensive, but you know, it was kind of like one of those gifts from Jen to Jen. <gasps> oh, but she feels really nice on the skin. I don't think you need to splurge when it comes to your moisturizer. Personally, I like to from time to time. And that's about it. Let's go with sunscreen. That's all I use during the day. I am finishing up this one by Bio Ray. It's a Korean one. There's Korean writing all over it. I'm just finishing her up and then I think I'll move on to like maybe Black Girl Sunscreen or Super Goop. Unseen by Super Goop. I want to try that one. Girl, I put sunscreen all over me now considering that I never used to use sunscreen before. It's a different life. It's my little glowing routine. I don't know what I'm gonna wear, but I do wanna look kinda cute. I may wear the same shorts that I had on yesterday, just because no one saw me yesterday, but now there's people coming, so. I may do that, I don't know what I'm gonna wear yet. We'll see. All right, on to makeup. I actually received this from Merit. So basically, there are a brand of makeup. They're new-ish on the market, and it's about you know using less makeup, a minimalist approach to makeup, and that's what I'm gonna be using today. They sent me a few things. All right, so I think everything I have here should do a full face if i'm not mistaken we have a blush this is super cute the color i think will look really nice on me the packaging is super cute i guess you know minimalist is what their motto is and you can tell that it's also being reflected in their packaging i think this is a concealer how do i open it oh there we go okay concealer i think what's on this side is there anything there okay yeah it's a little <laughs> That took a while to figure out. Concealer, let me get myself situated and then I'll come back because y'all probably looking at me like, what the hell, Jen? Get yourself together. I think this is mascara. Why is all the packaging so hard to open? Okay, it's because I don't know what I'm doing. I think this is mascara actually. So what's the other one? There is a bottom lash mascara, it looks like, and a regular lash mascara. This is the lip gloss and this is i think this is highlighter Ugh, look how cute this is another lip gloss okay so we don't have a foundation or anything like that but i have just the thing i have this makeup forever one that i've been using that i've been loving that's the one that i had on yesterday so i think i'm gonna use this one um before we do anything though let me wrap my hair because that's what i'm gonna do today and honestly i've been living in head wrap if you're not wrapping your hair i don't know what you're doing at this point <laughs> because it's it's such a vibe and that's all I do now so let's start with that okay that looks kind of cute right I'm just gonna twist this I think this is cute really cute all right, so let's do our makeup. I almost knocked you over, girl. First thing first, I am going to prime. And this primer keeps me nice and hydrated, which is why I like to use it. I'm very big on hydration, you guys. My motto now is to do, to be as gentle as possible with my skin. Foundation, I have two just because I, I kind of mix them to get the perfect shade. This one's a little more too red for me and this one's a little too light, but together. It's good. <laughs> so I mix them up. I literally just mix it on the beauty blender. Probably not proper etiquette <laughs> or whatnot, but yeah, that's what I do. Ooh! 
don't do that <laughs> anyways i love this foundation because it's so light it blends in perfectly with your skin at least with my skin and i just find that it doesn't it doesn't even feel like you're wearing foundation it really is kind of like a skin tint and i really like that about it no one wants to cake on makeup anymore honestly at this point of our life in this pandemic no one wants to put on a bunch of makeup but apparently i want to put it all over me and you see that how it like evened out my skin tone without being too heavy or cakey or anything like that i really like this foundation and let's go in with their concealer i feel like this is probably going to be too dark chestnut let's see i mean you can't even see it can you maybe that's the point <laughs> wow you can't even see this thing this is kind of nice where is it i have no idea you see this jeez very light i'm going to blend that in it's literally my skin in a bottle weird very weird and you know what i want my under eye to be just a tad brighter so i'm actually gonna go in with a little bit of this born this way just a little bit because we are going with very minimal makeup but we still want to look a little snatched so i'm just gonna do that still gonna use the same beauty blender to blend it out though and you see how that like brightened things up a little bit this is what we want okay moving on to maybe this blush why not not blush sorry what is what is this highlighter you see that i don't know if you can even see you see it you totally see it very subtle oh it's so pretty it's this if you don't want to wear a lot of makeup but you want to just be a little put together this is for you. This is nice. I'm gonna put it all over me. It's on the brow bone as well. Gotta blend it out too. It just gives me that little glow. Just enough of a glow. Let's do blush first. And we're gonna use this one. This one seems like it's a little dark for the look that we have, but we are gonna use it anyway. And you know what I like about their products? I just feel like you don't even need like a brush or anything. Like this is just ready to put on. It gives you this nice little blush of color okay just enough on the cheeks and i'm gonna use the same beauty blender here to kind of like blend it all together i think this is a if you have one beauty blender you can use the entire line do you see it right is it in my head it's not in my head i don't think so i don't think so now i am going to powder just because the way my skin is set up i am oily and if i leave my skin like this it's gonna be nice for the first hour but we're gonna start looking crazy real soon so I'm actually gonna go with LYS powder. It's a little light, but it works very well under the eyes, especially that area. I know I have to set that and my forehead. We have to do it. We just have to. Just a little powder. We're not baking or anything. And I like to just drag it everywhere. <laughs> just everywhere. Just set it all. Eyeshadow. I do wanna add a little bit of the Huda Beauty eyeshadow. I recently got this palette and I love it and i just want to add a little something in the corners right there you know a little bit of dimension actually you know what i think would be really nice too instead of using an eyeshadow you could use the blush just to add a little bit of color i kind of want to do that now so that's the blush here i think maybe using a brush would be easier to do this because this is too big to just put on your eyes i mean i guess you could make it work i don't know boom i'm looking kind of cute i think i look kind of cute now let's do the lips i feel like both of these colors are kind of kind of light i kind of want to do fenty unveil first just because i've been obsessed with this color so we're gonna go with that first and then in the middle we'll go with mara marrakesh is that how you say it we'll go with marrakesh i said the middle but really we're putting it all over let's do mascara i almost forgot to be honest oh i see this is a mascara this is a brow gel jennifer well let's use it why not oh you know what that's something i never really got into you guys know i'm horrible with doing my own brows which is why i have them powder brows slash microbladed or whatever but this is nice just to add a little color i thought they just sent me two mascaras like one for the lower brow i almost put this on my lower lash y'all <laughs> girl oh it does look darker it does okay so now let me actually put mascara on my bottom lash just a little bit what do we think what do we think setting spray of course 
I need some earrings. Earrings are going on. And you know what? My camera's dying. I hope that I can finish before it dies. And this is totally optional, but I really feel like doing my baby hair is a little bit. In fact, this is an episode of just hang out with Jen. So my phone died earlier, but this is uh, just a chill outfit, you know? Head wrap. I'm gonna live in this shirt for a while now. I feel it. Pants are super comfortable. I wanna show you guys the chicken that Stan is whipping up right now. Looks good. It smells good. Smells good. I'll put the recipe down below for you guys because I think it's gonna be delicious. Let's get into the makeup look. We like it, right? Very nice, very chill, very laid back, very, you know, I'm just chilling. I kind of woke up like this, but not really. It's nice and sunny out today too. So I'm going to snick and see what's happening here. Oh! Girl, you see those? Wow, Chef Stan on the grill. I'm here for it. Maybe I shouldn't have opened it, but it's too late. Oh, that crumb. I'm gonna go for it. That's you! Yeah! The lemon is there so good. Yeah. 